and welcome to today's yoga flow. I am so excited to be bringing you this yoga class from nature, from my backyard. It feels amazing to be here and I'm glad you're here too. <laughs> so today's class, we're gonna be focusing on grounding, again, activating the root chakra energy. We're going to be breathing deep into the base of our spine so everything that we are breathing and being into today just kind of like bring your energy and your awareness and your attention and your focus to that space right at the base of your spine um we'll be practicing some hatha yoga flow today with a little bit of exercise and fitness thrown in there as well but in kundalini yoga um, it is said that at the base of our spine is the kundalini serpent of energy which can be activated and awakened um, so as you're continuing to breathe into your spine breathe into that base that root chakra uh, maybe you want to envision your body in that area of your body flooded with red light. Red is the same frequency of the root chakra, so as you envision and breathe in your body that red light um, will continue activating the root chakra on a deeper level. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, let's begin in a nice comfortable seat, just kind of breathing and swaying being with the body and the breath, giving yourself time and space to let go of the past, let go of the day so far and what's to come in the future. And just breathe and allow yourself to be in this present moment. as you breathe, start bringing awareness to your body, your mind, your emotions. Just doing a little check-in and seeing where you're at uh, without judgment or expectation. Just giving yourself time and space. Actually, can I go ahead and take off my sneakers? <laughs> I want to feel like really connected. So I'll just put those over here to wear my cute little socks. <laughs> okay, that feels better. Making any organic movements with your body. Maybe uh, twisting your spine, opening up your shoulders, relaxing them down your back, and then tuning into the noises that surround you in this present moment. Drop into that stillness, that silence that eternally exists within you. Maybe taking Gyan Mudra, bringing your thumb and index finger together, stimulating that activation of that inner wisdom, that inner knowing. Continue tuning into the body, your breath, in this present moment. Slowly begin inviting some movement to your body, taking nice big circles. One direction and the opposite direction.
continuing to breathe nice and deep. And then do a few seated cat cow, opening up the spine. Again, focusing on the base of your spine and imagining that activation of root chakra energy. And maybe if it feels aligned to you, you can repeat a mantra either in your head or out loud. Um, I am safe. I move forward even with fear. I am connected. I belong. Maybe one of those resonates. Feel free to use that as you breathe in and exhale. Breathe out. Breathe in. Let's take our hands, lift them all the way up to the sun, breathing, reaching, and exhale, hands come down, down, down. Let's go ahead and come onto our hands and knees, and then come back to your hips, inhale, arms lift up, and exhale, hands come down, inhale, arms rise, hands come down. One more time, big breath in. And exhale. This time, hands come down through prayer. And go ahead and bow forward, sealing in an intention for your practice. Maybe your intention is aligned with your mantra, or maybe it's just something different, something that you want to cultivate and uh, bring into your present moment. Go ahead and set that intention. Plant it into the fertile ground of gratitude. And on your next breath, or whenever you're ready, go ahead, arms lift up, breathe in, and exhale. Feel your intention into your heart space. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Beautiful. Now we're going to get into our flow. So let's go ahead and come onto our hands and knees. Go ahead, tuck your toes under, and then go ahead, lift your hips back, slowly. Finally, pressing, pressing, pressing your way up, paddling out the heels in the downward facing dog. Breathing nice and deep. Nice big stretch. The back, the hamstring. Making sure we activate Padabanda. Pressing evenly into all ten fingers. All ten toes, pressing under, and shaking your hips side to side, and giving yourself space to explore how your body experiences this posture. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and forward, coming down on knees, bending your elbows slowly, and inhale, coming up, breathing nice and deep, and exhale, go ahead, push back, downward facing dog, go ahead, lift your right leg all the way up, nice big stretch, bend that knee, allow your hips to splay open, Pressing evenly between both palms, breathe in. And exhale, bring your knee into your chest. And then slowly lower your back knee on the mat. Inhale, both arms rise up. Big breath. And exhale, hands come down to frame your foot. Shift your hips back into space. Flex that front foot. Go ahead, breathe in, straighten your spine, 
and exhale, lower your body down, 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 as much as you comfortably can. Not painful, not pushing, just like nice gentle stretch. Again, inhale, straighten the spine. And exhale, lower your body down. One more breath, just like this. Inhale, straighten the spine. And exhale, lower, lower, lower your body down, down, down. On your next breath, then roll onto the front foot. Go ahead, arms lift up once again. Breathe in. And exhale, hands come down, frame that foot. Tuck your back toes, press back, downward facing dog. Ah, go ahead, let's go through our flow. Inhale, forward. Exhale, down. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, go ahead, push back. Downward facing dog. This time, left leg lifts all the way up, three-legged dog. Inhale, and exhale, bend your knee, allow your hip to splay open, making sure both hands are being evenly pressed into. Nice big breath here, inhale. And exhale, go ahead, bring that knee forward in towards your chest, plant your foot down, back knee taps down, both arms rise up, inhale. And exhale, bring your hands down, frame that foot, tuck your back toes if they're not already. Straighten your front leg, flex that foot, breathe in, straighten your spine. And exhale, lower your body down. Inhale, breathe in. And exhale. One more breath, just like this. Inhale. And exhale. On your next breath, go ahead and roll onto that front leg. Both arms rise up on Janayasana. And exhale, hands come down, frame that foot, tuck your back toes, press back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, let's roll forward together. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. And then go ahead, either walk or hop your way up to your mat. <laughs> Spine straighten, flat back. Inhale, you can place your hands on your knees as well. And exhale, nice big forward fold. Maybe clasp your elbows, sway side to side. Getting like a nice release in the entirety of your back. Breathing in and breathing out. Maybe clasp your hands behind your back. Oh, opening up even more. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower down, down, down. Spine straighten to rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend into your knees, bursting up. Breathe in. And exhale, I have a long side of our mat. And we're just going to make sure that our feet are like a little bit wider than our hips. And just squat down. Holding a goddess squat, maybe sway side to side. Just getting deep into those hips and bringing that awareness again to the base of the spine and also now the soles of the feet. Just take some nice big deep breaths. I know this is quite intense, so we're just going to breathe, inhale. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhale, go ahead, take all of that power, all that energy, and push yourself up. Slowly lower down. Three, two, one, hold, squeeze. Three, two, one, exhale, press up. Lower down. Three, two, one, hold, squeeze your booty. Three, 
two, one, exhale, three, two, one, big breath. <laughs> and slowly lower it down, three, two, one, hold, squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt, three, two, one, and exhale, breathe up. Nice big breath. Two more, just like this. Slowly lower down. Three, two, one. Hold, squeeze. Three, two, one. Big exhale. All the way up. And last one. Slowly lower down. Three, two, one. Hold, squeeze. Three, two, one. Big breath. Exhale. Rise up. Take some stretches. Nice stretches. Get into your hips. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> so opening up. Perfect. Now we'll meet at the top of our mat. Go ahead. Pressing into both feet. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Halfway. Exhale, hands come down, step back through plank. Hold, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lower down. Three, two, one. Inhale, rise. Up. Three. Take a moment here. Get like a nice stretch in your core. And exhale, let's go back. Downward facing dog. Right leg rises up, the way back up. Bend that knee, exhale. Inhale, pressing evenly between both palms. Exhale, knee comes in towards your chest. Hold three, two, one. Slowly press that foot between your palms. Left knee tops down, both arms arise up. Anjaneyasana. Find your balance. Place the attention on your root chakra and the soles of your feet. Breathe. We're feeling like really strong and stable in our lower body. Nice, secure. And then really light and flowy in our upper body. Breathe. And exhale. Hands come down, straighten that foot. Shift your hips back. Inhale, exhale, slow it down, down, down. Inhale, rolling onto that front foot. Left hand comes down, right arm lifts up, open, breathe. And exhale, come back. Spread the needle, that arm comes through, getting really deep into the hip here. Press that sole of your foot down so you're not like overextending into the hip though. Breathe in. And exhale, coming back to your center. Both arms rise up. And exhale, come down. Straighten the front leg once again. Inhale, spine straighten. Exhale, lower your body down. Inhale, come forward, orange and asana. And exhale, hands come down, straighten the foot, tuck the back toes, press back, downward facing dog. Come forward, let's go through our flow. Slowly lower down. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, come back. This time, left leg rises up, big breath in. And exhale. <sighs> Bend that knee, make sure both hands are planted firmly on the ground. Inhale. And exhale, bring that knee into your chest. Hold three, two, one. And plant that foot down between your palms. Both arms come up, right knee tops down. Anjani Asana. Breathe in. And breathe out. Hands come down, shift your hips back. Inhale. Lowering into that front leg. Go ahead, breathe in. And breathe 
out this type of right hand comes down to give yourself some balance. The left arm reaches up and down. Big stretch here. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead. Thread the needle. Left hand comes underneath the right elbow. Drawing your body down. Take one big breath here. On your next inhale, slowly come back up through center. Both arms lift up on Janayasana. And exhale, hands come down. Shift your hips back one more time. Breathe in. And exhale, lower jaw. Inhale, rolling onto that front foot on Janayasana. Open your body. Feel strong and stable at the base, at your foundation, and rise up through root. Exhale, both hands come down, let's bring that foot, tuck your back toes, press back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Let's go ahead, we come forward through your crown. Inhale, fold. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, go ahead, come back, child pose. Let's take a moment for ourselves here. A moment to breathe. A moment to breathe. Whenever you're ready, slowly come forward on your mat. And just roll over. Go on the exhale. And exhale. Rain down. And we'll start by kicking our hips side to side. Get a nice big stretch. In the low back. Starting to slow down. Use more mindfully. With more intention. More present. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and lift your feet up. And then press your hands down. I'm going to do a little lower abdomen force release. So you can lift your shoulders and your head up if that feels comfortable. Or you can just bring your body down. Whatever feels best for you today. We're just going to switch. So I'll switch my shoulders 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, both feet come up, hands come down, and just kick the side. Kick the side. Exhaling as you pass. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now bring your feet down. Hips raise up, squeeze your core, and just hold this leg posture. Take some nice deep breaths. See if you can hold, release your glutes. I'm sure you're squeezing them. It's not really about that. It's just about finding a foundation and holding yourself up. Again, bring your attention to your root chakra, Muladhara. Activate that red energy. Allow it to fill the space within your body, in your mind. Feel the four corners of your feet on the ground. Again, release any tension, maybe shake it out if you notice your hips are clenching together. Can I shake it out? Shake it out. 
See if you can lift a little higher without bunching, of course. And on your next breath, slowly, slowly, slowly shift your hips over to the left side. Knees are going to fall to the right. Yeah, perfect. And then left, uh, bring your gaze to the left side of your body. Take a few moments here to bring your body back to center. See how deeply you can relax and let go. Observe where your muscles are like clenching or holding or tightening and see if you can consciously just release it with each breath out. Soften, allow, maybe repeat that mantra to yourself from the beginning of class. Slowly, 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 bring your knees back in towards your chest. Placing your feet back on the mat. And then go ahead, lift your hips all the way up and over to the right side now. And the knees are going to fall to the left. So your gaze is over your right shoulder. Again, practice seeing the art of letting go, observation, awareness, release. Be with yourself. Be with your breath. On your next breath, slowly come back to center. Bring your knees into your chest. Feet come down. Lift your hips up and just back down to center. Spread your knees nice and wide. Maybe hands come on your kneecaps as you rotate circles in one direction and the opposite direction. Just opening up our body. Rounding the space, grounding into the breath, grounding into this present moment. Beautiful. And whenever you're ready, lift your feet all the way up. Now flex your feet so your tops are nice and flat. And then bend your knees, grabbing the outer edges of your feet. The happy baby rocking side to side. Swaying nice and deep, taking some deep breaths, finding that calm center breath that generally exists within you. Softening into gratitude. Gratitude for the breath, the body, the sun, the trees. Always something very beautiful that I'd like to be grateful for. Thank you.
your knees down. And tuck your shoulder blades underneath your torso so your heart starts kind of open. And the tops of your shoulders are nice and soft and relaxed. Chin lift up to the sky and hands come face down into our final resting posture of Shavasana. Allow your body to relax in this final position. As the yoga asana integrates every fiber of your being. how much you can Feel your belly rise with each inhale. And fall with each exhale. Inviting some movement to your fingertips and your toes. Rotating your wrists, hands, and Whenever you're ready, taking your arms up overhead, take a nice big full body stretch. If this is the first time you're working out this morning, and soften and exhale, coming on to your side in fetal position. The first position your body has ever existed in. And while we're in this position, we trusted in the womb of our mother that all would be provided for us and we would be perfect upon arrival to this earth. Bring ourselves back to that time of total and complete trust. Anchor some of that energy into our present day being. Maybe bring to mind your intention from the beginning of our flow. And finish off with the mantra that you chose. Mm. 
using your hands to gently guide your body up without opening your eyes, if that's at all possible. Finding your way back to a nice, comfortable seat. Taking some deep breaths. fresh perspective, renewed energy. Let's finish our class by lifting our arms all the way up to the sun. Gather all that energy and exhale, bringing it down through our body. Placing our palms on the earth to give Goddess Gaia love and healing energy. Mm. Thank you, Goddess Gaia, for allowing us to experience life on Earth. And together we'll take one more nice big breath. Inhale, arms lift up. And exhale, hands come down, placing your palms this time on your heart giving yourself love and gratitude for showing up for your practice today. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for being you. Sending so much love and blessings your way. Namaste.